see you, Good sir. to see you. Aubrey, Frank, yeah. Outside, yeah. Good to see you. Glad we could get together here, and I give me a chance to thank you for your effort up there when the bill was going to foreclose the space station on any military connections. I think it would well, have been disastrous. To we had a we had a really long drawn out fight uh, know, over over that yeah. thing, but uh, I think it I think it worked out well, and yes. uh, we appreciate your signature on the NASA authorization bill because I think we got some very good policy statements in, in that bill. I mean, that that does move us down the road. Uh, uh, some of the way toward where we need to be going. And uh, I think I understand the idea. You have some ideas. Yeah, that's exactly right. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll give you a little piece of paper there and so on. Uh, Hi. Jack Baker, Missouri City President. Robert. Good to see you again. Mr. President, 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 Mr
sons, and I had a picture of their grandchildren. Oh, the elderly of the Thank you. We also had him, as you know, at the Kennedy Center, there would be a piano concert this Sunday night uh, for Mr. Felsman, who has recently arrived. He came to our attention by way of my son, who was there on a newspaper assignment some time ago, what had been done to him simply because he had asked uh, to leave. So we put him on our list. Work on him. He's now. He had his debut at, uh, at uh, Metropolitan Opera a few days ago. Real debut was at the White House before. Well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I must, I must say, uh, uh, he had everyone there with a lump in their throats when his first number was the stuff, our national anthem, and uh, played beautifully. I didn't realize, I knew he was a prompt piano player, I didn't realize how great though until I thought he had 15 fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just a little incident, now I know we must get on to the meeting here. He, uh, he told me he played, he did not play our national anthem in the march tempo that you usually hear from the bands. He told me that he had always felt that that music was meant to be played a different way than, than the usual uh, march tempo that you hear. And when he had finished and he played it, in keeping with the way he thought it should, and I didn't realize that he didn't know what I said to him after when he was saying this and telling me. I said, well, you don't know that the poem provides the lyrics. That music wasn't created for that. It was set to the music of a German hymn. And, well, he was so pleased to learn that his kind of instinct about the way the music should be, he was right. He was <laughs> right. Kind of well, listen, I, I uh, understand that your December 6th demonstrations in support of our efforts on behalf of Soviet Jewry, and that will be an issue at the summit. Believe me, we'll make sure of that, as we have on previous meetings. I know the Soviets would prefer it if we forget all about the plight of Jews in the Soviet Union. It's our business, yours and mine, to make sure that they're not forgotten. And that's why we've raised the issue on every conceivable occasion. And we've already announced publicly that the issue of human rights will be an important part of the summit talks. Maybe we're at a historical crossroad because the Soviet economy is falling further behind each year. And, uh, their political ideology seems to have lost some of its force among their own people. And therefore, they're now seeking better relations with the West. We have an opportunity to let them know that better relations are a function of how much confidence we can have in their ability to observe agreements. In 1975, when Soviet leader Brezhnev signed the Helsinki Accords, he committed himself to the freedom of Soviet Jewry, the freedom to practice religion and the freedom to emigrate. And that turned out to be a paper promise, as we know. We must keep the Soviets' feet to the fire on this, as evidenced by the, and, and it will, I think, is beginning to bear fruit, as evidenced by the increase in emigration. But the increase in numbers is not enough. There must be an institutionalization of more liberal emigration procedures greater fruit and freedom for Jewish religious and cultural life. And I'd be interested in hearing from you on two related matters, how much progress has been made and what you think we should be demanding of the Soviets at this time. President, um, in response, let me say that we regard this as a really a historic occasion. themselves to you. Sir, you know most of them. Colonel Chuck Krulak, sir. Yes. Just had a recent letter from your father. Is that right? Oh, sorry. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi, Mr. President. Mr. President, I'll be Chuck. Thank you. Thank you. 